The Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain moved to Silverstone for rounds 19, 20 and 21 with Eric Lichtenstein, the best of the drivers in qualifying for the first race and he was on pole position, although Antti Bury, the championship leader, made a better start and was virtually level as they went into Cops Corner for the first time. Down through the veil, Bury led, but Lichtenstein made a brave move to the inside and he picked up the race lead. The Argentine adding the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit to his long list of new venues at which he'd raced in 2012. Behind them, Fabian Welter was, as ever, the man to beat within the Juratec class. And he had very little opposition. He had a big gap over the class rivals. Up front, it was quick lick. Eric Lichtenstein heading towards a victory. This would be number eight of the season, with Antti Bury closing up at the end. The gap at flag fall being just half a second. It was Lichtenstein on pole position for the second race of the weekend as well. From the start, he was able to bolt clear of the fin on the run down towards Cops Corner. Bury slotted in behind him, eager to try to redress the balance. It was eight wins apiece by this stage of the championship season. Bury wanted to be the winningest driver. Lower down the order, Julio Moreno was involved early doors in a battle with Jake Cook as the cards ran nose to tail up towards Maggots. Having sorted out Cook, the next target was Luke Williams. He lined up, coming out of Aintree to challenge on the inside, down Wellington straight into Brooklyn's. And Moreno, after a win at the Nürburgring, picked up another place. Up front, it was still Lichtenstein fending off Antti Bury. The two of them nose to tail as they ran through Luffield, heading up towards the start and finish line once again. And in the slipstream, heading down Hanger Strait, Bury made his bid for the race lead. Lichtenstein defended the inside line. It left the fin with only the outside line to go for. And he just squeezed in front as they went into the right-hander. But it was the wrong line. He was hung out to dry. Lichtenstein back through on the inside, wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. But it was the Argentine who hung on to the advantage. To the end of the veil, Lichtenstein defended well as lower down the order. There was a good fight at the Juratec class. Matt Rao getting past his teammate Alex Drabble at Brooklands, but he locked up, lost the rear of the car and spun himself onto the escape road. Lichtenstein looking after his tyres as the race drew to a close had been caught once more by Bury. He dropped away mid-race after a stone got caught under the throttle pedal. But Lichtenstein had enough of a margin in hand to come across the line to score a ninth victory of the season. Behind him, Antti Bury took second place to increase his championship lead, this time the margin up from half a second to six tenths. And Fabian Welter came through for yet another victory in class, once more the Mexican driver being the dominant driver in the Juratec division. Race three had Lichtenstein on pole position once again, but this time Antti Bury was only third on the grid. It was Luke Williams on the third best time a driver set in qualifying, who was second fastest, but he didn't make as good a start as Eric Lichtenstein, and he was second right up behind the Argentine as they went into Cops Corner for the first time. Julio Moreno once more was battling with Jake Cook. But Moreno ran wide going through Cops, and although he sorted himself out, it all went desperately wrong going through the Beckett's S's. He was fine going through Maggots, but then as he turned into the first element, he rode the kerb, ran wide, hooked a wheel onto the dirt, round went the back, and Moreno was out of the race almost before it had begun. The Ecuadorian hugely frustrated as up front Lichtenstein had to defend, not just from Bury, but also from his teammate Luke Williams, who tried to go all the way around the outside at Stowe Corner. But like Bury in the earlier race, he discovered that there just wasn't room on the outside. Lichtenstein hung onto the place, Bury right up behind the leading pair as they went to the end of Vale through the left and then turning right into club. Lichtenstein led Williams having a much, much better showing than he had in recent races and Antti Bury thinking about points for the championship was right there behind them. He sorted out Williams, made a move on Lichtenstein, ran out of road and had to go across the grass and the kerb at the end of Vale to avoid contact. But that launch over the kerb and a heavy landing was the undoing of Bury. He got back onto the circuit but the rear suspension was damaged. On the last lap of the race, he was running in second going up towards Abbey, but the race wasn't going to go a lot further for him. The car didn't look stable, and as he turned into Abbey and up towards Farm, the suspension gave way, he slithered off the road, and with effectively a three-wheeled car, Bury's race was over. No points for him in race three of the weekend. Eric Lichtenstein, in contrast, heading for a tenth win of the season. Just three races, one event remains at Donington Park. Antti Bury still holds sway in the title race. It will take a disaster for him to lose the championship now. But Eric Lichtenstein, with more race wins to his credit, ruined the early season bad luck that gave Bury such a good start in the championship battle. Fabian Welter made it three out of three at Silverstone in the Juratec division as he came home to score honours in the class once again from George Blundell and Matt Rao. In the title race, it's Bury from Lichtenstein. Jake Cook third. 
Julio Moreno is fourth ahead of Kevin Corcoran and Ryan Callum. Bury is in the box seat, but Liechtenstein could mathematically just snaffle the title away if Bury didn't score at all at Donington Park. In the Duratex, Fabian Welter is the man in charge, although Matt Rowe is not too far adrift. Again, he'll have to work very hard to outscore Welter enough to win the championship, but he is fending off George Blundell, who runs third ahead of Alex Drabble, Abdul Ahmed, Oli Ray in sixth.